Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another DIY for you and it is another Poundland DIY. I have done two DIYs in this video that I said I was gonna be doing last week after that haul and I did the Nutcracker DIY. Now today's video is actually kindly sponsored. I am so grateful for this to be happening, so yeah. Big shout out to Anna Luisa, who are the sponsors of today's video. So Anna Luisa New York are a jewelry company. You may have seen me speak about them like literally for the past couple of years, basically since my channel started, because I have been wearing one or two of their necklaces throughout the past literally like two years because I absolutely love them. Like I wear them day in, day out when I'm not on camera everything just because I genuinely adore them so recently they gifted me another piece which is this little padlock necklace I am in love with it it's one of the most perfect simplistic necklaces ever I absolutely adore it I just want to buy it for people for Christmas to be honest I love it that much I also got gifted this pair of huggy um earrings as well again I absolutely love these I have really sensitive ears in the way that I can only wear like silver and gold like the actual kind of, I don't know what you would call them, like noble materials, because Anna Luisa's stuff is actually made all from those sorts of high quality materials, which means no irritation on my ears, which is a major, major plus. Regarding budgets as well, I know things are a little bit tighter this year. I know I just love to be on a budget all year round anyway, without compromising on the quality of pieces. So Anna Luisa pieces are not only of amazing quality, they're also at an amazing price point as well. None of that like luxury markup kind of thing going on when you see with like other high-end brands anything like that pieces literally start from like $39 all the way up to like higher end prices so there really is something for everybody on that whether you're looking for like a little treat or something a little bit special for this Christmas speaking of Christmas I know like I said we're all on a bit of a budget but Anna Louise are actually running a Black Friday sale I love a sale so if you want to hop on there then do so quickly I will leave a link down in the description which will track the fact that you will come from me I don't get no commission from this anything like that but it's just nice to know that like we can click through and give the brand a little bit of a thank you another thing when thinking about jewelry especially with like um high street fashion brands and everything they use a lot of not very nice materials things are often worn for a short period of time but these pieces are made to last for a very very long time they also offset all of their carbonate emissions as well not only just through like their raw materials but also through the disposal of their pieces as well which is another really great factor to Anna Luisa I also should mention another thing <laughs> sorry um they gifted me this necklace as well I haven't taken it out of the packaging because I wanted to show you but it comes on this gorgeous little card with like this little bit at the back it just says hope love create obviously love that we are creator here and they come in this little box now which basically is just a smaller less waste of packaging which again is absolutely amazing and as always they just come in these little velvet pouches which again is something a little bit extra a little bit special isn't it so that all comes in there like i said thank you Anna louisa for sponsoring today's video and i'm just gonna get straight on into the diys so the first diy that i'm doing for today's video is actually an upcycle of this tea light holder that i found first of all i took it outside to my utility room i just put down some bin liner to kind of you know cover up my freezer and then I just sprayed some spray primer all over it next I moved on and spray painted the whole thing in a gold I did this around about half an hour after the primer was kind of touch dry and the gold paint that I used was actually the bright gold by Rust-Oleum I have worked with Rust-Oleum previously um this wasn't obviously part of it but I think this piece was gifted to me like literally like two years ago um but yeah full disclaimer for that that's just you know just just yeah trying to be transparent um so yeah i coated the whole piece in two layers in this gold spray paint i absolutely love it i've bought it so many times before i just i really like this color it's just the perfect gold you know once I had the two layers completely dry, I then took the piece back into my house and started painting back in some of those details with a chalk paint. Actually, this is also Rust-Oleum, but it is the chalky finish furniture paint in the color chalk white. I did two layers in total of this, just bringing it back where the fur would be on like the little gonk's hat and on the ends of his like um, jackets, like just on the cuffs. And I just made sure to like 
make my paintbrush go in the direction that that fur would be running so I figured the fur on the hat would be running around and the fur on his beard would be running downwards so I made sure to make all of my paint strokes in the kind of right direction just because with chalk paint you're able to see the texture of this which is why I actually used it I just really wanted to bring some texture back into the piece so once that was done my gonk was pretty much done I'm really really super happy with how it has turned out I absolutely love it I was actually going to spray paint it white and then add in the gold but I didn't have any white spray paint and I think this might have even worked out better so moving on to the second DIY for today's video, I actually needed a whole load of pom-poms. I got really, really, really into pom-poms last year. I've been into pom-poms probably for my, my whole life, um, but I actually invested it in some pom-pom makers last year and they have been life-changing to me. So if you don't have any of these and you've never used them, this is kind of how you use them. You just put the two pieces together, wind your yarn around both ends, put the two together, like making the circle and then put the clips down. Honestly, this saves you so much time when making a bunch of pom-poms and I would highly, you know, recommend investing in some pom-pom makers if you're going to be doing this DIY because you will save yourself a bunch of time. I used to be the full-on, like, cardboard ring type of girl, like, really stuck strongly to it, but once I bought these, these are amazing. So for the first pom-poms that I actually made... A bunch of them in the Poundland wool. I showed those in a previous haul, but I used a sparkle and a plain white. These are usually on three for two pounds. On this pom pom here, I also mixed in some wool that I already had. This is the seriously chunky wool by Signet. You can find it on eBay for a really, really good price. I usually try and buy it for under two pounds a ball, but this will make all the difference. I know this is a Poundland DIY, but still, you can make it with just the Poundland wool if you want, but if you want to add extra texture, I'd probably recommend this wool over any because it's super cheap, but it's super chunky. <laughs> obviously that's a good combination so once you have your pom-poms made you just want to trim them up a little bit as you can see here just trimming off the edges not making sure to cut too much of that pom-pomness off and then what you want to do is take one of the powerland wreath bases so this is one of the polystyrene bases and basically I just went in with my hot glue gun and i hot glued around eight pom-poms all on the top of it these ones here were made with this seriously chunky um wool by signet like i previously mentioned that i usually get off of ebay for a really good price so one ball of that wool makes these eight pom-poms it pretty much used up the whole ball of those eight pom-poms i found one ball of the powerland one as well also made up eight pom-poms of this size it just took a lot longer as you can see there the wool is a lot smaller so it makes a completely different texture so i ended up sticking these ones in between the gaps where those seriously chunky ones were then i went back in again with another eight pom-poms and added in pom-poms with the mix of the seriously chunky and the poundland wool as well i then made up eight small pom-poms so i literally had like 36 pom-poms at this point but eight of them are in the smaller size these ones here worked out to be five centimeters each i made four in the complete poundland wool and four in the seriously chunky and i just alternated them in the center of the wreath once they were stuck down my wreath was then complete but i decided to actually decorate it i didn't glue any of this stuff down because i know in the future i'm not going to go for a major vintage theme well i might do but i might not but this year i'm trying to bring in a real good vintage retro element so i actually just took some of this tinsel that i already had in my collection as well as this vintage bauble that i picked up this year i then used these poundland um bells which i added two of those onto the silver tinsel kind of wire to add as like a little guard Garland. I then inserted these little bubbles which again were from Poundland they are absolutely tiny and they are adorable I think there's like a pack of 24 or something for a pound um, you get quite a lot for a pound in there they have all different types of colors but for the very last step all I needed to do was add on some ribbon so I took this inch wide satin ribbon in the fuchsia color just to match in with that um, vintage bauble on there and I just tied a kind of like slip knot around the wreath base and tied a knot in the end to make a hanging loop once that was done my wreath was then complete I absolutely love it honestly this screams like anthropology pom pom reef to me and i just yeah i adore it and i love that little kind of vintage bubble on there as well
So that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching me do the DIYs. Let me know which one of the two was your favourite. Also a huge thank you to, again to Anna Louisa for sponsoring today's video. Without them and sponsors like this I would not be able to sustain this channel simply because I'm so little and I'd love to spend a lot of money on my DIYs. So yeah thank you so much to them. I do obviously want to say if you're in the market for some new jewellery, if you're looking to buy a gift for someone special, then please do go through my link down in the description down below. Anna Louisa genuinely are so nice. Their customer service is like amazing. Their PR people are so kind. Their jewellery is amazing quality. Like you only have to see this on me to know that this is so nice. But yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you again to them and for you for watching today. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.